Okay, I'd like to take a few moments here to show you uh, a couple of PDA devices. Um, the first device is Pocket PC, and the software that I want to show you on Pocket PC is uh, from Advanced Informatics. And basically what this software does is it's a clinical tracking tool that allows you to enter data related to um, related to what the student is doing in clinical. So, for instance, I'm going to enter the date here. This clinical happened on Monday. Um, it was a female, but it was a pediatric patient. Um, we can give um, a little bit of history about what we were doing with the patient. Um, we can pick their ethnicity. We can talk about what type of vitals were done. And all of these different areas um, can be uh, customized based on what the school wants to do with the data. Um, so for instance, we'll pick who the supervisor was at the time. Um, the supervisor was indeed assisting. Um, we can pick a diagnosis. Uh, you can determine whether you want a medical diagnosis or a um, or a, uh, a nursing diagnosis, again, uh, de depending on what you want to do. Um, once, the, uh, once the item has been saved, I'm going to see if I can get it to confirm here, um, you can actually go in and confirm with your signature. And the next time this device is synced, it will actually upload all of this data to the, um, to the server and then the faculty can pull reports or uh, uh, things of that nature based on maybe they want to do assessments, etc. Another nice tool uh, to use is, uh, is PEPID. And PEPID is, is kind of like a, uh, it's almost like a med surge book. It has everything from A to Z in it. So for instance, I'll type in uh, atrial fib, and there's atrial fibrillation. Atrial, there we go. We'll just we'll pick the ACLS algorithm, um, and this gives the student a lot of different information, or the nurse a lot of information um, based on based on. Uh, where they're headed. They can pick certain labs. It can connect to a dictionary. Um, you, you know, you, does the rhythm convert? Um, you know, we might say no, it does not. Then it starts taking us through medications. It might take us to images. Um, nope, let's see here. There we go. It might take us to images of certain rhythms. Um, so that's just a, uh, another tool that's called PEPID. Uh, that works pretty well. Um, one of my favorite tools is Skyscape because Skyscape um, you can pick and choose um, which, uh, let's see if I can get a better image here for you. You can pick and choose which uh, images, I'm sorry, which books you want to load and I'm having a little bit of trouble there with you seeing that. Um, so for instance, I'm in osteomyelitis. I can look at the description here. I can go down to the, uh, the drugs. And again, I apologize that you can't see that. And um, scroll down and look at which medications are best used for osteomyelitis, um, what their uh, indications might be. And then I can also, I'm in five-minute clinical consult. That just happens to be a favorite quickie uh, reference of mine. I can also choose to look at my other books that are connected that I have in this particular device. So I'm going to look in my Mosby drug guide and it's going to say, okay, Tim, which medication do you want to look up? I'm going to pull up uh, Cipro and it'll take me right to my Mosby drug guide uh, for Cipro. So that's another one. One final example I want to show you uh, relates to uh, video. So for instance, uh, we use Potter and Perry Fundamentals and we, they have like 30 or so free videos 
that students can download onto their iPod. Holding the catheter at a 10 to 30 degree angle, slightly distal to the site of venipuncture. Observe for a flashback of blood in the catheter's flashback chamber to determine that the catheter has entered the vein. Lower the catheter until it is almost flush with the skin and slowly advance it another one quarter inch. Advance the catheter off the stylet until the hub rests at the venipuncture site and release the tourniquet with your other hand. Apply gentle but firm pressure with the index finger of your non-dominant so that's just an example of a video that can be run. Um, these videos run better on iPod, particularly iTouch and iPhone. They have a much better screen resolution. Um, this device I'm showing you happens to be a Palm Trio. Thank you.